Hello and welcome back to Reading Grow TV. I'm Miss Deanna, also known as the Teacher Mom Too, and today I have another fascinating book entitled The Day You Began by an award-winning author Jacqueline Woodson and the illustration is by Rafael Lopez. This was an amazing book that I actually discovered at the public library so I'm excited to um, dig into this one as we continue to celebrate Black History Month. Um, I'm still reading um, wonderful books that were written for children um, by black authors this month. So I have another week uh, next week to do the same. And I'm kind of torn because I have a couple, I have so many, so I might just continue this um, past February. I'm definitely gonna continue reading, but I have so many other books that were written by um, African-American authors. And so I would like to just share them on this platform. And this is our book for today. I'm so excited to read this. So I've not read this before. I did skim, skim through it a little bit and uh, just checked out a little bit about the author. And wow, this is gonna be a really nice story, a really nice book here. Um, the author is, wow, she is the National Ambassador for Young People's Literature. Um, the Day You Begin was inspired by a poem in her New York Times bestselling memoir, Brown Girl Dreaming, which also received the 2014 National Book Award, a Coretta Scott King Award, a Newbery Honor, and NAACP Image Award, and a Cyber Honor. Oh my gosh, she is a four-time Newbery Honor winner, a four-time National Book Award finalist, a two-time Coretta Scott King Award winner, and the recipient of the Jane Addams Children's Book Award and the Margaret A. Edwards Award for Lifetime Achievement. Wow. <laughs> like, wow, I'm amazed. But so awesome, so awesome. Um, there are, she actually has other books as well, but I just happened to pick this one up at the library. So I'm so excited. We're gonna go ahead and just get started. So again, my friends that, my little friends that are watching, the title of this book is The Day You Begin. I, that title alone is just amazing. And the author, the person that wrote this book is Jacqueline Woodson. The person that drew the pictures, the illustrator is Rafael Lopez. For all my little friends who are learning uh, about the different parts of a story. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna make sure that I don't get too deep into the story so where I can show you guys the pictures. <laughs> All right. There will be times when you walk into a room and no one there is quite like you. Mm -hmm. Maybe it will be your skin, your clothes, or the curl of your hair. What a beautiful little girl. There will be times when no one understands the way words curl from your mouth. The beautiful language of the country you left behind. My name is Rigoberto. We just moved here from Venezuela. And because they don't understand, the classroom will fill with laughter until the teacher quiets everyone. Rigoberto from Venezuela your teacher says so softly and beautifully that your name and homeland sounds like flowers blooming the first bright notes of a song. Rigoberto. There will be times when the words don't come. Your voice, your own voice, once huge, now smaller when the teacher asks, what did you do last summer? Tell the class your story. We went to France, Kyla says. These shells came from a beach in Maine. A boy named Jonathan holds out a jar filled with tiny shells, so fragile they look like they'll turn to dust in your own untraveled hands. My whole family went to India, Spain, South Carolina. Each souvenir, a small triumph of journey. Their travels going on and on. Yes. 
As you stand in front of that room, you can only remember how the heat wave as it lifted off the curb. And your days spent at home caring for your little sister who made you laugh out loud and hugged you hard at nap time. You can only remember the books you kept on reading long after she had fallen to sleep. And in that room where no one else is quite like you, you'll look down at your own empty hands and wonder, what good is this when other students were flying and sailing and going somewhere? There will be times when the lunch your mother packed for you is too strange or too unfamiliar for others to love as you do. When even your own friend Naja will wrinkle her nose and say, what's in there anyway? You'll wonder what she doesn't see, how she doesn't see the rice beneath the meat in kimchi. You'll wonder why she doesn't remember that rice is the most popular food in the world. There will be times when climbing bars are too high. The run is too fast and far. The game isn't one you can ever really play. I don't want him on our team. You can watch. Maybe you can have a turn later. There will be times when the world feels like a place that you're standing all the way outside of. And all that stands beside you is your own brave self. Steady as steel and ready, even though you don't yet know what you're ready for. There will be times when you walk into a room and no one there is quite like you until the day you begin to share your stories. My name is Angelina, and I spent my whole summer with my little sister. You tell the class your voice stronger than it was a minute ago, reading books and telling stories, and even though we were right on our block, it was like we got to go everywhere. Your name is like my sister's, Rigoberto says. Her name is Angelina too. And all at once, in the room where no one else is quite like you, the world opens itself up a little wider to make some space for you. This is the day you begin to find the places inside your laughter and your lunches, your books, your travel, and your stories, where every new friend has something a little like you and something else so fabulously not like you at all. That is the end. Beautiful. Wow. That is the day you begin. What a powerful story. Wow. I hope you guys are encouraged. All my little friends that are listening to this story, I hope you are encouraged by this story. The day you begin, never be afraid to share your story because people are, we come from all over and we all have different stories. And you know what? It's important. Your, your story is important. So this was so powerful. I love this book. I love it. I love it. I love it. Jacqueline, Jacqueline Woodson. Wow. 
wow, we're all different. Ah, there are lots of reasons to feel different. Regardless of how you look or how you feel or how you talk or what you eat or, you know, we're all different. But wow, you got to make sure that you take those first steps to begin. Tell your story so people will know who you are. And I'm sure you are fabulous and you are so interesting and people would love to understand and know more about you. So this is, I think, a very powerful story. I thank you guys again for for all of those that will listen to this story today. I hope that you are encouraged by it. I surely was encouraged by this story. I thank you again for um, coming to Read and Grow TV to uh, listen to these stories. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. And guess what? We're going to come back again next week, next Sunday, and do it again. We're going to have another book and we're just going to keep it rolling. I have so many fabulous books by African-American authors I, and authors in general. I know I did something for Black History Month where I was, um, you know, reading books, um, reading children's books written by um, Black authors. But hey, I have lots and lots and lots of amazing books by written by different authors all over the world. So I will be sharing those um, here on this plat platform at Read and Grow TV. I thank you for tuning in again. And until next week, let's read and grow together. Alrighty, guys. Thanks you again. This is Miss Yana, also known as the Teacher Mom. See you guys next time. Bye.